going to taste test Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas Rough Weather Oatmeal Cream Pie Coffee. So I got this before it was Christmas and now it's almost February. Who knows, this video might come out in March. From the Bones Coffee Company, it's a medium roast and this is the oatmeal cream pie flavor with zero on it. Oatmeal cream pie. Imagine sweet, soft, chewy oatmeal cookies with a decadent buttercream filling. Then swirl it in a steaming cup of smooth, bold Arabica coffee. Rough weather is dreamy and delicious. It will leave you with absolutely zero regrets. Dreamy and delicious. To me, that screams vanilla. Decadent buttercream filling. Why wouldn't it be vanilla? Let's give this a try. There's just too much space here. Whatever. I'll just bend my knees. It smells like a good quality coffee. Mmm. There's some sweetness in there. I'm getting a bit of cookie. Nice and toasty. Yeah, it smells good. It looks so cute on the side too. I think I'm gonna keep this bag when I'm done. It doesn't say anything else on here. So I will assume the standard two tablespoons. Mmm. The coffee grounds kind of look like instant coffee. This coffee has a 4.8, almost 5 star rating. Buttercream. Oh, do I have a buttercream here too? Oh, no, I don't. Masterfully blending the rich comfort of oatmeal cream pies with the invigorating essence of a traditional brew. Taste of oatmeal cookies and rich buttercream. Carefully selected beans to ensure the smoothest sipping experience possible. Since its introduction, it is the only kind of coffee that I buy. But I should have, I should have gotten more. This person gave three stars. Okay, coffee. Not nearly as good as I expected it to be. No bitter, artificial taste. Better than most flavored coffees. Not exactly a bad review. Aww, I wish I got them all. I'm not made out of money. Ooh, nice crema. I think you could already tell it's gonna be a smooth coffee. Mm, it's not bad. Initial sip. I'm not getting vanilla. I'm not getting buttercream. There is some body to it, which kind of fulfills like that pie carbiness, carby quality to it. Not bitter, no acidity. Oatmeal. It's perfect for a cold, gloomy, rainy day. I'm leaning towards okay and good. Hmm. I kind of wish like the cookie element was more evident in here. It's a nice smooth coffee. It's a nice balanced coffee. There's no strong bitterness and there is no acidity. There is no city. There is no acidity. It's really smooth. I really like this coffee. So the last time I gave a good coffee review, it was the Part of Your World Disney blend. I thought that one was really good. That compared to this, those are both Disney coffees. The Part of Your World blend, the sweetness and the caramel notes were more evident. Here, I'm like trying to, trying to find it, trying to figure it out. Mm. Okay, with the smell, kind of getting a little bit cookie, maybe because I'm really trying to. In a blind taste test, I would have never guessed oatmeal, buttercream, pie, cookie. Mm -mm. I'm torn with a three-star review that says it's an okay coffee and five-star because, you know, I do enjoy this. So I'll give it a four. But I like flavored coffees, and if a coffee tells me it's flavored, I don't want to try to find it. <laughs> It's very good. It's a good coffee, but I'm not getting oatmeal buttercream. You know what? Let me add creamer to this. I'm adding one of my favorites, a Coffee Mate brown butter chocolate chip cookie. So let's add some cookiness to this cookie. Just a little splash of it, because oh, drinking it black, it's pretty good too. The texture is nice. The mouthfeel is nice. The artwork is nice. 
If you just said medium roast, black coffee, I would say five stars. This kind of fell below my expectations. I think a four is good enough. Okay, I'm gonna chug it. Actually, whoa, <laughs> actually I give it a 4.5. It, it's good still, it's still a good coffee. And it's really good when you chug it too. <laughs>